Hello and welcome to today's Revit tutorial on structural annotations. In this video, we'll cover how to add dimensions, creating custom ribbon tags, and placing views on sheets. Let's get started. To add dimensions, navigate to the annotate tab and select dimension type. I will select aligned. Pick this reference, then this other footing reference, then click to place the dimension. I will repeat the same for this side, then click to place the dimension here. Press escape to exit the command. I can add dimensions to the column. Select align dimensions from here. I will pick this column side, then the other side, go down, then click to place somewhere here. Drag this point out from the drawing to set a gap from the reference. Drag this other side too. I will select align dimension. Pick this line, then this other line. Go this side, then click to place the dimension. Drag this point back up to here. Then do the same to the lower dimension line. Press escape to exit. We can now start to add tags to the footing base. My ribbons are slightly off. In column section, I placed my top bars with an offset at the end to minimize detailing overlapping bars. In the footing ribbons, I first will change the presentation to view only this middle horizontal set and this middle vertical set. I will select this set, then go to presentation. Select on this icon, then hit select none. Pick this middle or any bar, then hit finish, then close. I will select the other ribbon layer. Go to presentation, then select pick bars. Click on select none, select the middle bar, then hit finish then close. Repeat the same for the vertical bars. Select the ribbon set, go to presentation, then select pick bars. Click on select none first, then pick the middle bar and hit finish, then close. Select the other ribbon set, go to presentation, then click on pick bars. Click select none, then pick the middle bar, click on finish, then close. This is how you can select bars to show in a ribbon set. We can proceed to start placing tags. First, click on tag, then select loaded tags and symbols. Click on tag, then select loaded tags from here. I will scroll to structural tags. You can set or load tags for the category from this dialog. I will scroll, changing the loaded types to my preferred tags. To change a category type, drop here, then pick on any tag. I will scroll to see my tags. For structural ribbon, I will set my default tag to quantity, type and number. You can change the default tags from loaded tags and symbols dialog. I will press OK to close. We can start to place our structural tags. Select on tag by category to start adding tags. You can change the tag attachment from here. I will click on the footing, then go down up to here. Then click twice to place my tag. You can select on the tag, then remove the leader from here. We have now tagged the footing. We can add a tag to the column. Select on tag by category. I will click here on the column, go this way to here, then click twice to place my tag. We can change tag parameters by editing the family. I will select on the column tag, then go to edit family. I will first select on the type name, then go to edit type. I will define a new type size by duplicating this type. I will type 2.5, then hit enter. In text size, I will edit to 2.5, hit apply, then OK. With the type name still selected, go to edit label, select type mark, then click on the red arrow to remove it. I will scroll and select mark, then click on the green arrow to set it as my parameter. Hit apply, then OK. I will click on load in project and close. Click on yes to save the tag. Click on yes to replace. Click on no to save as a new family. I will click on yes to replace, then override the existing version and parameter. Now, the column tag has the mark set as the parameter. I will scroll to mark in the properties box. The value is CC01 as the tag. 
I can select the tag, then move it inside the column. to somewhere here, then remove its leader from here and hit escape. We can continue to place tags to the river. I will switch to annotate tab, then select tag by category. Select this river, go this way, then click twice to place the tag. I can select on the view box, then extend it up to somewhere here. I will select all these elements, Hold shift to remove the view box, then right click, hide in view by elements. You can drag this back up to somewhere here. Now, we can learn how to create custom riba tags. Select on the default tag, then go to edit family. Here, I will select on each type, then delete one by one. I will press Ctrl plus Z to undo the last delete. Select on this tag label, then go to Edit Label. I will select on Type Name, then remove all the parameters from the label. With the label parameters empty, we can define our custom riba tag. Select on Quantity by Riba Set, then add it by clicking on the green arrow. Select on Type Name, then add it to the label. Select on Shape, then add it. Scroll and select Mark, then add it to the label. Add spacing to the label set. Select it, then press the green arrow. Scroll up, then select Comments and add it to the label. Hit Apply. Go to the suffix of Quantity by Riba Set, then press Space. Go to the prefix of Shape, then type open bracket and add a close bracket at its suffix. Go to mark prefix and add a hyphen and also add the suffix. Add a space in the spacing suffix. Select on spacing then click on format. And check use project settings then set symbol to none and press ok. Apply. Then ok. Click on the end, then drag to extend the label to one line. Hit on load into project and close. Select yes to save, then select no to save as a new type. Set save location and name. Click on options, set backups to one, then press OK, then save. I will place a tag on the vertical ribber by clicking on it, then click twice here to place the tag. No labels are visible as you can see. I will select on the tag, then go to Edit Type. I will move the Type Properties box somewhere here, then set my graphics to Type and Spacing, then hit Apply. And check the other parameter values, then hit Apply, then OK. I will delete the tag first. Go to Annotate tab, then select Loaded Tags and Symbols. I will set my structural ribber tag to type spacing and number, then hit OK. Now, select tag by category, then pick any ribber to place tag. The default ribber tag is set to the new defined tag, as you can see. I can pick this ribber, go up, then click once, go this other way, then click to place my tag. I will delete this other tag. We can add a bending detail to the ribber. Select on a ribber, then click on bending detail. With the line to bar mode selected, I will go left to place my bending detail. Click once to place the detail. To place this view in a sheet, I will first select on the view box, right click, hide in view by elements. Go to sheets in the project browser, right click, then select New Sheet. Select on a title block, then press OK. Right click on the sheet, then click on Add View. Here, I can select my typical foundation plan, then press OK. I will place the view on my sheet by clicking to place the view. You can select the view, then change to No Title. The view is now placed in the sheet as you can see. 
we can proceed to tag the column section. We can start by adding dimensions to the section. I will pick the align command, click here, then here, and place my dimensions somewhere here. Select the top footing reference, then select the column reference and place the dimension here. I can select this beam line, then the bottom, go this way, then click to place my dimension. We can add a dimension for the footing at this section. You can manually adjust the gap from reference by dragging the dimension line away from the reference. Select on a dimension, then drag using the last dot. Do the same to this other line, then hit escape. With our dimensions placed, we can now proceed to tagging our ribbers. Select a stirrup, then go to presentation and select pick ribbers. Click on select none, then select a stirrup to show and hit finish. I will select the bottom footing ribbers. Go to presentation and first click on select none. Select the ribber you want to leave visible then hit finish. I will repeat the same for the top bars. Go to presentation then hit select bars in ribber set to show. Select none then select the ribber you want to set visible then click on finish. We can place tags for the ribbers. Select on multi ribber annotation to tag multiple elements with a single tag. Click on a ribber. Then click where you want the leader line to be, then click again to place the tag. With the command still selected, you can select the stirrup to add its tag. Click to place the tag. You can select on a tag. Then go to select tag to edit its properties. I will change the angle to zero then hit apply. You can drag the leader line to the tag. We can now drag the tag to a better position. Click to exit. I will select on this multi ribber tag then hit delete. Go to tag by category. You can change the tag angle from here, set to zero, then hit apply. I will click on this ribber, go this way, up to somewhere here, then click twice to place the tag. You can select this top ribber, then go at an angle up to here, click once, then go this way, and click to place the tag. I will click on the column ribber, then go this way and click twice to place my tag aligned to the lower tag. Select on this other ribber once, then go this way up to where it will align to the lower tag and click twice to place. We can add more ribber tags to the footing. I will click on this top ribber, go up, then click once, then go right and click to place my tag. I will click on this bottom ribber, then go down, click once, then go this way and align it to the top tag, then click to place. You can hit escape to exit the command. I will extend my view box by dragging this side up to somewhere here. I will extend the other side too. You can select on elements in a view. I will hold control then add other elements. Right click, hide in view, by elements. I will select and hide other elements I don't want to see in the section view. We can add bending detail to a ribber in the view. I will extend the view by selecting it then drag to extend. Select on a ribber, then select bending detail command. I will go this way and click to place my bending detail. Select this other ribber, then go somewhere here and click to place. We can also select the stirrup to add its bending detail. I will place this detail in the middle of this buzz here. Click to place. 
I can add a bending detail for the footing ribber. You can remove a line to bar mode to place the ribber anywhere in the view. Press escape to exit the command. This is how you can dimension and tag a typical column section and also add bending details for the ribbers. We can proceed to the beam section. You can select a line dimension then start placing dimensions at the column. Click once to place the dimension. You can align this to the other then click to place. Select the top then bottom beam reference. Go this way then click to place the dimension. I will select on the dimension line then drag the end to reduce the lines. You can edit the stirrup presentation by selecting the ribber set, then go to pick ribbers to show. Select none, then pick the one to be left, then hit finish. We can proceed to place tags for the beam ribbers. Select tag by category. Click on a ribber once, you can go up, then click twice to place it vertically. We can tag the bottom bars, then click vertically down twice to place. Select this stirrup by clicking on it, then go this way and click once, go down and click to place the tag here. Select on a ribber, then go to bending detail. You can turn on a line to bar to place the detail perpendicular to the ribber. I will select the bottom ribber to add its detail. Select the stirrup to add its detail. Click to place. We can hide this view box by element. Select it, then right click, hide in view by element. I will repeat the same for the column section. In the project browser, I will double click on a sheet name to open. Right click on the sheet, then go to add view. Select the column section view, then hit OK. Click to place the view here. Select the view then change to no title. You can adjust the view position using the arrow keys. We can add the beam section to the sheet. Go to project browser, right click on the sheet name and select add view. Select beam section then hit ok. You can align to the other views then click to place. Select the view then change to no title. I will adjust my views using the arrow keys. I can adjust my beam details by going to the view first. Click on this bulb icon to reveal hidden elements. I will select the view box, right click and hide in view by elements. Click on the icon again to turn off the command. I will extend this side of the view box up to somewhere here. I will delete the previous bending details. Select on this top ribber, then select bending detail. I will go this way and click to place my detail with a line to bar on. Select the bottom ribber then place it horizontal and aligned. You can select a detail then use the arrow keys to adjust its position. To add the stirrup detail, select on it then select bending detail. I will place it somewhere here. I will lower it using the arrow keys. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tutorials. Until next time, happy detailing. See you in the next.